Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and today I am very excited to announce the Switch It Up Volume 2 Mystery Boxes will be going for sale tonight. So I'm going to run through, give you all the details on everything. So starting off, again, I highly recommend you follow me on Instagram. I've been posting multiple teasers. Uh, so I've, I think I, I've done five teasers for the box, showing off some of the, the raw and graded books that will be in these uh, mystery boxes. So um, definitely, and that's where I'm going to be putting them for sale. Uh, if you absolutely do not do Instagram, you can, I guess, email me or message me on Facebook or something. But uh, Instagram is primarily where I would uh, like to keep track of everything. It's a little lot easier for me to look at, at everything in one place, you know. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, Price point, I'm going to throw it right at you, $225 box plus shipping, uh, and I decided to do it this way. I know some people go ahead and include shipping, but I do think I have some people locally that will be buying, so I went ahead and and just made a, a price for the box, and then you'll have to pay shipping as well um, if, if you aren't local. So uh, if you are local, just you know hit me up uh, again, whoever, primarily on Instagram when I put these things up for sale. Uh, just so I can keep track of everything going on, but yeah, 225, and then plus shipping if you need it. The value on these boxes are going to be uh, roughly. I try to make everything about 280 dollars. It might be a, a couple dollars over or under or so, but that's kind of what I was striving for. Uh, very meticulously, was you know I had them in eight piles and I was moving things around. I was like, how can I get these all to be about the same? I I don't know. I'm kind of torn in between having like a chase like something big or just putting a lot of value in the boxes uh and this time i went with you know just having all the, the boxes be you know over value rather than chasing over one big thing i may eventually do another mystery box um where it is chasing after something bigger if that's something that interests you or if you prefer this way you know that's kind of thing let me know in the comments when i have more feedback it's definitely something more you're know, pretty useful for me because i am still pretty new this is only my second mystery box uh so i you know i'm definitely willing to hear feedback and learn and uh, see what y'all are interested in so um other than that so yeah um value of 280 dollars and then we have each slab or each mystery box is going to contain one slab and then eight to ten comics raw comics um so a nice, I wanted it to be, you know, a nice little decent amount. You know, you never want too many comics, but also if it's too few and it's like this one, this one, and we're done, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like it's just, you don't build up the anticipation. And when I make these boxes, I really do try to make sure that I, I put them in order to where it, it escalates. I always start my boxes with the smaller stuff in the front, you know, and then lead to the bigger stuff. Um, I, I want to build up that tension, build up that excitement, and um, and yeah. So I I don't know. I, I I whenever I think of it, these will be definitely YouTube friendly, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it on YouTube. But that being said, I when I make these, I do kind of envision watching someone open them because I like watching mystery box videos. But that being said, sometimes you know you'll have. 10 books or whatever and the best books the third book and the rest are just like man whatever you kind of you know did the exciting stuff at the beginning and then now it's just like eh, okay whatever whatever you know so i i don't know i try to make it an entertaining video in my head even if it's not going to be a video but that's just again part of the fun for me um then oh yeah i wanted to show off so you know each coming this is one the ones i showed in the preview um Something that can be, you know, kind of difficult, and especially, again, it's YouTuber friendly, so you might pop this up and be like, oh, I know it's a key, I can't remember what it is, or maybe you have no idea what it is, um, and um, so, but anyway, so I have all the keynotes, and this is part of what has taken me so long, I have everything written down, so like on here, you know, it's first Black Crescenton, it's the first uh, Doctor Silo, and then it's also the first solo series for Darth Vader, and then I got a value on it for $40. Um, and so each book will have a sticky note on it. Uh, there might be a couple, you know, like I threw in some nice little lower end books and it might just be a cool cover or whatever. And it might not say anything. It might just have a value on it. But most of these, like 99% or what, I don't know the exact number, but you know, most of these will have the keynotes or whatever. Cause, uh, pretty much I, th uh, only threw some keys in there. I do have some like old, 
like 12 cent books that aren't necessarily keys, but they're old 12, 12 cent books, you know, stuff like that might just have a price on it. Um, but yeah, that way it's good for, I mean, and again, even if it's not for a YouTube video, even if you, you know, you don't have to go through and search and be like, what's the significance of this or that or whatever. I, I present all the information there for you. So it's easily accessible and you can, you know, cause you, you might pull this and be like, mm, whatever. But then you're like, Oh, black chrysanthemum. That's really cool. You might be excited about that, but not know that's his first appearance. I'm using this as an example, you know. Obviously, there's a bunch of books in there, and they all are labeled and everything to be as convenient for the opener as possible. Um, that being said, I also, mm, again, probably like 99% of this stuff is Marvel, and I, I'm going to count Star Wars in that as well. Um, I'm a Marvel guy, as you can see. These are all Marvel books, right? Counting, the, you know, the Star Wars, yeah. Um... I'm a Marvel guy. Uh, that being said, there are a few sprinkles of DC books and indie books in there. Uh, not much. I'm trying to even remember. It literally might just be, I think, like one DC and two indies or something like that. There's not much in it. Most of it's Marvel. If you don't count Star Wars, there's some Star Wars sprinkled in there as well, but I count Star Wars, Star Wars as part of Marvel. Um, and so, like, if that's not your thing, if you're a DC guy, this might not be the box for you. You know, I'm not, not out here saying, you know, anybody and everybody should be buying my box. Um, when I make my boxes, it's stuff that's in my collection. You know, it might be some stuff that I grab doubles of. It might be stuff that I, you know, just, just bought for whatever reason. And then now as I'm trying to thin out some of my collection, make room for newer stuff, you know, this is all stuff that I bought for me at the time, and then now it's for you, I guess. <laughs> so, that being said, most of it is primarily Marvel. And if that's not your thing, then that's not your thing. But I think there's a good chunk of uh, collectors out there that would have no issue with that. Um, and then the very last thing to tell you about is when these boxes, and when and where, I guess, these boxes will be going for sale. So, tonight, Friday, March 4th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be making a post on Instagram. Um, and and that'll be the time. I'm going to have... The eight, again, there's eight boxes. So I'm going to have the... It, I think I said that already. Maybe I didn't say that already. I don't think I did, actually. I didn't write that in my notes. There's only eight boxes. That's all I'm going to have. Uh, and I'll put the slots um, in there. So go ahead and comment. Just tell me that you want a box. Um and you know then we'll work out payment or whatever and i'll get your name listed on the thing um with these being put out friday you know i will then whatever i end up selling i'll i'll end up uh, shipping them out on monday um monday or tuesday it might be tuesday actually um but yeah there's i think that's all the information so yeah 225 dollars Shipping plus shipping if you need it. Uh, again, even if, if you're local, you know, you know, you can come pick it up from the shop whenever you have time. Um, yeah, just just let me know, and that's a you know person by person basis. Um, two hundred dollar, two hundred eighty dollar value on each box. Eight to ten rolls, one slab. Um, I got all the information listed on the back of each book. Uh, I'm gonna have a couple little fun things like I've been doing. Uh, I'm not, not done with these yet, but I, I'm just doing a few little sketches, you know, and just some fun things to throw in there. Um, I'm going to have a poster. I'm trying to get some stickers made. Hopefully they'll be done this weekend uh, and I can throw them in there. I'm really hoping, but we'll see. Uh, I, I just kind of did this thing. I had the idea last minute. It's like, oh, I should get some stickers. And uh, yeah, that might not pan out, but I'm hoping stickers will be coming. Um, but yeah, just a few little fun extra things in there as well. Um, and yeah, mostly Marvel, 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below. You can message me on Instagram. You can message me on Facebook, whatever. Um, and just ask me and I'll hopefully, I think I got all the information squared away. And again, I would like to know, do you prefer, um like these guaranteed value boxes that are over value of the purchase price, or would you prefer, um, you know, having like a chase thing, like a bigger comic in one of the boxes and, 
you know, all the other ones would obviously be lower value. I don't know. Um, just let me know. I try to please everybody and again, make boxes that I think are fun. Uh, like I said, every time I make one, I'm, I kind of visualize it being opened and like I'm watching a video, you know? And so I, I try to like think of it as like, Oh, well this, this wouldn't be too fun. Let's, let's change this around or whatever, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but Thank you all so much for watching the video. Uh, thank you all so much. If you're interested in the box, or if even if not, um, and even if you're not planning on buy one, if you have feedback, I would love to hear it. Um, and I think that's going to be it for today, though. Thank you all so much, as always, for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!